Okay, so some guys on Reddit have been wondering uh, how I tweaked the Twitter app to be completely black instead of dark grey. Um, so yeah, there are two ways to uh, accomplish this. One is if you have Android Oreo, I think. Um, like it doesn't work on Pi, but on Android Oreo you can buy a plugin for Substratum, which is a theme engine, and then um, yeah, this this is Substratum. So if you have Android Oreo, you do not need root, and you can install this, and then um, you just have to pay like I think it's three dollars for Andromeda, which is a, a rootless plugin for Substratum, and then you just uh, get this this theme right here, which includes Twitter uh, completely black. Um, of course, you do need root on Android Pi to accomplish this. I'd say this is the best way to get uh, Android, uh, I mean, to get Twitter with complete uh, ba uh, black background color because that, this way you can get updates. You can get updates and um, even this theme uh, that I, I'm showing you right here, it updates quite a lot actually. So, of course, you'll get all the Twitter updates and stuff, but um, then I'm going to show you uh, the way I do it, because uh, my phone has Android Pi, but it's not rooted. I don't want to root it yet. So um, I also want to get the uh, swiping tab navigation, which Twitter got rid of sometime last year. And uh, yeah, that's why I want to get an older version of the app and tweak it so it's also dark. So it's like uh, two features I want. Um, yeah, because the new, the new Twitter app has a swipe to open the camera feature, which I completely dislike uh, and, I, and I can't really stand it. So that's why I want an older version. Um, so yeah, you can see that even um, here in, in this theme list, you can see Twitter is uh, themed. So first things first, uh, you need to download your APK. You can either grab it off from your phone or download it from APK Mirror. Now I, I want this um, 7.28 version uh, because it still has the tw uh, swiping tabs layout. Um, again, I'll leave links necessar necessary for completing this in the description as well as um, tools and stuff. Um, you also need for this to work a uh, jar signer and you also need the APK tool which needs Java installed. Um, as you can see here, I've already uh, done this method and I'm using it on my phone. It works perfectly, I don't have any crashes or anything. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty sick. Um, first things first, I'm going to delete my existing directory because I want to do it um, you know, from, from scratch. So first I grab the, the APK that I want to modify. I want to modify the, the one of the earlier versions. Uh, the, uh, depending on your computer, this might uh, take a while, so I'm just going to cut. And we are back now. Um, the Twitter app has been decompiled, so I'm just going to cd into it. And. Um, now there are, here there are two ways to um, modify the values. One, you can just go to the directory. It's in res values night eight, something like this. Yep. And uh, you can see that th this is the, the uh, color palette that applies to um, night mode on the Twitter app. So you can see that the background is a uh, uh, gray color that you see all the time. And there are some other stuff that you might want to tweak um, now you can just go ahead, tweak these values and uh, um, compile it, the app again and sign it. And or you can just um, uh, get my. I mean, not this one. You can get my uh, tweaks that I have loaded to GitHub and uh, here. I leave the link as well. So this is just a a diff that you can download and uh, yeah, just apply it like any normal diff so 
Okay, now we, we can go to, so in fact, we can see that the, a background was this color, that ends in 36. Now we can go back. And now it's zero, zero, so it's completely black. Um, yeah, this is pretty much it, so you just have to go back. Uh, build and just build the, the the directory itself. No, not this one. And give it an an output. And yeah, once once it's built, you just have to go on your phone, and install the Twitter app, because um, this has a different signature on it. And uh, then you, after the APK has been uh, built, you just need to sign the APK as the last step. And to sign the APK, I'm, I'm going to leave the command below, but you need an existing key, or you can also generate a new key and, and sign it with that key. So yeah, um, if you have any questions or anything, I mean, I've tried this method and it, it works on, on my device. So yeah.